I'm Bernie Mitchell, president of Silver Platter Productions and Panasonic's AVC Cam Evangelist. Welcome to another in our continuing series of educational videos on Panasonic AVC Cam camcorders. Today we're going to be talking about two new cameras, the AC160 and its little brother, the AC130. These cameras feature one very, very cool thing, and that is an extremely long lens, 22x. Well, when you have a lens like that, now we need to be talking about focus. As we've discussed previously, anytime you're working with a high definition camera, you do need to be concerned with focus, and there are lots of focus assist tools in the camera. Now, most cinematographers will choose to use the camera in manual focus. However, there is autofocus on these cameras. Autofocus is a tool on the camera to help you to make sure that you're in focus when you're shooting. However, let's discuss what autofocus really is and how it works. The AC160 and the 130 use a technology called piezoelectric in using autofocus. What this technology does is it looks for differences in the contrast in your image to help the camera focus. Now you need to keep this in mind and think about this when you're shooting because there are circumstances that could come up which will affect how effective your autofocus can be. Panasonic has a long history of making some pretty incredible cameras like the DVX100 or the HMC150 just to mention a couple. Well now we have the AC160. You may think, eh, I know Panasonic cameras, I know how this camera will operate, it'll operate like my other cameras. Well, don't be fooled. Camera technology has advanced dramatically. The HMC160 brings a whole bunch of new tool sets and new features to the mix. What it means also is that the operation, particularly in something like autofocus, will be a little bit different than your other cameras. And later in this segment, we'll show you some examples so you can see exactly the performance of the AC160 and its autofocus features. As a professional shooter, I tend to leave my camera in manual focus. However, I know there are some shooters that are much more comfortable using autofocus. And frankly, there are some times where autofocus just makes our lives easier. But remember what I said earlier. This camera uses piezoelectric technology for its autofocusing. That means it's looking at the shot and looking for contrast in the shot. Well, what happens if you have a low contrast shot? The camera is going to be looking for contrast. It's not finding it. It's going to have trouble figuring out what to focus on. How do you get that shot? In a low contrast situation, you'll notice the autofocus keeps searching for what it's going to focus on. So what I'm going to do to help it is put it into manual focus. Now, when it's in manual focus, then I'm going to open up the gain so that I can see my shot better. Ah, okay, there's the leaf that I really want to focus on. My next step is to push the function button, move the little white square down over where I want the leaf to be in focus, push it again so that it turns yellow, then go over and push to autofocus, and you'll notice the autofocus moves and locks on, on the leaf. Now I can just go back to the gain setting that's appropriate for the shot that I want, and I have my shot in focus. Here's another scene that could typically cause problems with autofocus low contrast with various points of light. So in this scenario you have a low contrast shot with multiple points of light and you'll notice that autofocus is having a difficult time deciding what it wants to focus on. Therefore switch to manual, this is what I would do, zoom in, find something that you do in fact want to focus on, set your focus, and then zoom back out and frame your shot. In this scene, we're going to pan the camera to various points at various focal lengths and figure out how we can use autofocus to hold our focus. If you have a situation where you're actually panning between objects and you'll notice in autofocus it's not sure where it really wants to be focused, here's how you would accomplish that. Go to your first object, push the function knob, and then set your little square to the area you want to be focused on. Now, as I move the camera between objects, when that square hits, you'll notice the autofocus will lock on it. This is a way that you can achieve what you want to do when you're panning between multiple objects with autofocus. Our last example is a very busy scene. If you're in autofocus and you have a quite busy scene and you're moving the camera, you'll notice that autofocus is having a very difficult time trying to figure out what you really want to focus on. Here's how you would fix that. 
go into your opening shot, set your camera to manual focus. Set your focus on your opening shot, and now as you move the camera through your busy scene, the focus will hold. As a professional, understanding when, where, and how to use autofocus is critical to my success. I hope the tips that I've given you today will help you achieve the same.